Hello everyone, my name is George and welcome to this very first PHP programming tutorial I will be making. And in this tutorial what we're going to do is that we're going to install the necessary requirements so you can uh, run PHP on your on your computer. And and what you will be needing is obviously a web browser, you will need a text editor and you will need the Apache web server with uh, with PHP. So to install that, I assume you already have a web browser, obviously, and a text editor, even Notepad is good. So what we're going to do is that we're going to install Apache. If you have not installed it, uh, what you have to do is that you can go to Google and type in XAMPP, and this is basically an uh, easy to use software that allows you to install Apache, MySQL, PHP, and Perl on your computer, um, as well as other tools but you can use this tool for Linux, Windows or Mac so go ahead and enter this page over here and download the, the SAMP uh, distribution for your operating system so I have it for Mac so I will go over here and don't worry it is almost the same process in Mac or Windows so go ahead and download it and install it and once you install it basically what you will have is this little control panel that allows you to start the Apache web server so originally it is stop I'm going, just going to stop it Apache and uh, MySQL and all you have to do is click start and once you click that your computer will now be a uh, running web server so to test that it is working just open up Chrome or Firefox and type in localhost and once you type that you will see this page over here and this is a web page that is running on your own computer so this is not the internet this is your very own computer uh, running as a web server so now you are able to uh, do some programming in PHP and what is page PHP all about so PHP is basically a programming language um, for developing dynamic websites and um, what you see over here these are these are websites that are uh, you may see like they are static but they may actually be generated uh, dynamically by some programming language such as PHP and what you have to do right now is that uh, I will close this over here and you will go to the, to your directory system and look up for a uh, for the Apache installation uh, folder. In this case, it will be SAMP. And over here, I will file these folders. And you will need to look up for this special default, this special folder called htdocs. And this is a folder uh, to store a uh, document that will be running in a in our web server. So over here, go ahead and make a folder. I made this one called projects and create an index.php file so I will open this with uh, my text editor over here and just writing this code and basically what this does it, it displays a message uh, called hello world on your web browser so go ahead and type that in and create this file over here and now what you will do is that you will open again Chrome and type in localhost projects and then index.php and I will see that file being deployed uh, in, in my own web server in my computer so see what is happening over here inside this htdocs uh, folder I have this uh, folder named projects and over here I have this other uh, file named index.php so basically what you do to access this file is you need to type the URL uh, inside the htdocs uh, folder this will be projects then slash uh, index just like this and you will be the, this file deployed uh, with PHP so and the other thing that you need to understand is that this uh, text over here it was generated dynamically by PHP so this is the basically the most uh, simple dynamic website uh, you can do with PHP so I hope you like this tutorial uh, this introduction to the PHP and that you can also uh, install XAMPP or Apache uh, 
Stamp is only a tool, uh, uh, easy to use tool, but you can install it all other ways. And uh, you can go to the Apache website and download it and install it. But this is more easy to use, so I recommend using Samp. So I hope you like this tutorial, like this video. Um, if you liked it, <laughs> click click on like button. And if you want more videos, you can subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more programming tutorials. I hope you will find useful. So thank you for watching and see you later. Bye bye.